Um, well, I will present first the session, which is named Mounds Architectures, No More Than Hip. And it is proposed by Primitiva Bueno Ramirez, which is not with us today, uh, but physically, but she will, she is by spirit with us, and myself, Luc Laporte. <laughs> the aim of the um, session would like to deal with, uh, to the, the following, with the following topics. Whether they are built with earth or stone materials, and whatever the shape of the sepulchral space they cover, from wooden cysts to imposing megalithic chambers, most timid now appear in the landscape as artificial hills. Some were actually built to appear as such, but others were initially built with any other devices now collapsed, such, for example, the facade of some megalithic monuments from Western Europe. Some of these mounds seal underlying funerary structures with pieces decorated or not, where others only encompass them and sometimes superimpose themselves in the context of a real succession of architectural projects and sometimes monumental transformations. From Japan to the Atlantic shores of Europe, via the Black Sea or Central Asia, many works have also concerned the construction techniques used often much more meticulous and sophisticated than one might have imagined, and sometimes accompanied by engraved and or painted images. The restitution of elevation is often the subject of some debates, now supported by powerful digital tools in three dimensions. We then invite authors who have been confronted with each of these points for types of constructions, materials, or in the most diverse places possible, to submit a proposal for communication within the framework of this session. And in fact, the following um, presentation should have been presented these days that I can cite perhaps. Um, there are 14, six of which onto the Iberian Peninsula, four of us mainly about Western France, megaliths, but also urban architectures and four on to Kurgans in Crimea, Russia, Iran, and Kazakhstan. Incrementando las herramientas de análisis de las biografías de los megalitos, el grabado como evidencia de una fase antigua en el dolmen de Donbate, en Galicia, que se propone por Primitiva Bueno Ramírez, Fernando Carrera Ramírez, Rodrigo Balvin de Bermán, El Cabecera y A. Rosado. Methods. This is the first and one of the presentation. The title of another one is Methods for the Study of Large Monolithic Stone Monuments in Western France, proposed by Luc Laporte, Florian Cousseau, Philippe Guézin, Didier Poncé, Yann Bernard, Jean-Baptiste Barrault, Laurent Quenel, Jean-Claude Morel, Ludovic Soler, and Christian. Tumulus architecture of the Bronze and Early Iron Age in the Eastern European Russia, based on material from Ophus excavations, proposed by Roman Mokod and Olga. Zagoranya. I'm sorry if I, the names are not very well pronounced. I apologize for that. <laughs> the Seven Stones, building tradition of chancy occurrence among Galician megalithic chambers by Carlos Rodriguez Belan, Ramon Fabregas Barcarce, Julian Bustelo Aguin. Architectural peculiarities of Chemichek burial construction as evidence for distant spreading traditions of the athletic megalithism by Alexei Kovalev. Mounds, dolmens, stellar and rock shelters in the lower Durobastin, Portugal, during recent prehistory, searching for iconographic traditions by Maria de Sancho San Jesus Sanchez and Juana Texera. Variability of earthen construction techniques in Nalefic Temele architecture in France, a geo-archaeological approach by Julia Vatez, Alessandro Penetti, Marie-Lise Onfray, Jean-François Nicolas Fromont, Muriel Gandzin, Emmanuel Guesquer, Hermar Sac et P.C. Jalot. <laughs> From Megaside to Kogans, architectural reflection of social space transformations in Tripolier and the Analytic of the North Pontic Steppe by Ludmila Chatillo and Robert Hoffman. Dynamic construction phasing stages of megalithic architectures 
a study of cases in the Department of Brittany, Charente, and O in France by Philippe Guizan. Change and resilience of the megalithic architectures, biographical approach to the meaning and temporality of the process of megalithic activity in the Douro Basin by Christina Tejedor Rodriguez. A survey of Kurgan culture in Northwestern Ireland, Kurgan culture and cultural change in Ireland, Zakuzegari, I'm sorry if I pronounce it bad. Uh, mounds with between mounds, the unique case of term four of Pelicoes enclosure, Evora Portugal by Antonio Valera, Ricardo Goninho, Lucy Evangelista, Anna Catarina Mosi. Discovery of a new multi chambered can under 120 meters long mound in central Brittany, France by Florian Cousseau, John Nichols, Marie Bell. Photogrammetic study in the tumuli and cima of Castillejo del Bonete, Terinches, Ciudad Real, in Spain. Luis Bonito, Tes de Lugo Enrich, y José Luis Fuentes Sanchez. These are the selected presentation for this session. And some of you are with us today. So if you have something to say, I will be happy to talk with you. Thank you very much. Um, look, do you have, um, uh, have a any plan how to disseminate more the session? Well, 14, it depends on the, depends on the time that each people will have to talk about. Mm -hmm. This is 14 presentation with a very few time for presentation as you, as it has been planned organizers. It's not bad, but um, for people coming from so far away, could be perhaps a pity. Mm -hmm. uh, how much time uh, do you think would be... No, 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 uh, for, the, for the moment, there are 14 proposed. If there are more, mm -hmm. no problem. I would be happy, obviously. It will be very interesting. But um, do you, I'm do you, more uh, concerned, to say the truth, with the idea that people coming could express themselves for, I don't know, 20 minutes or something like that. 20 minutes? Mm-hmm. Okay, um, uh, um, you know the, the 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 reason why we uh, organized the time this way uh, was uh, to keep everyone in the same room so that one could listen to everybody. Um, do you think that um, uh, multiple session would be a better solution for those that are interested in the um, uh, in the session to be um, all together and have yeah. more time to present? No, I don't. Okay. Because now we have time. Uh, we have uh, one year to, um, uh, you know, to uh, not to reorganize everything, but we can um, make things to be more uh, interesting for any participant. That's yeah, sure. But there are some participants which are with us today. So mm -hmm. perhaps they could say what they think about it. Okay. I, uh, I was looking. See, we, we can we can get the, the feedbacks from people and see what uh, what they um, what. Uh, it's it's weird to talk without the, having the video. Um, it's uh, we can we can eventually talk with people and see um, the inputs and uh, organize the, the way. So uh, fourteen. Um, I, I don't have the schedule. I don't have the, the the list of sessions and the communication out of the session here with me. Um, how ma uh, from many uh, from how many countries uh, do you receive? the um, submissions? I mean, the, the geographical uh, um, scope. Well, it goes from Altai, Kazakhstan and Chinese Altai, to the um, 
Atlantic facade of Europe. Okay. Okay. But uh, well, could be interesting to have even wider contribution, obviously. Mm -hmm. But to a certain point, what could be interesting also is, as you say, uh, to know the, um, the position of the contributors for the time allowed for the presentation, on one hand, um, the organization of the whole session, on the other, hmm? and what do you call a session? Because I, for, on my own, as a contributor, as many of us, it's just my opinion, no more. Um, I would be very happy to be able to follow so many presentations that are proposed throughout the whole meeting. So I will not promote the idea of different sessions mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah, I don't, um, I, I, I never like to, to have multiple sessions because exactly because you are always losing, uh, you are always losing something when, when you have multiple sessions. But those um, I don't, I don't know if, um, if, uh, Paul, Paulo has something to, to say. Okay. Um, look. Thank you, thank you very much. I don't know if any of, uh, any of uh, the others have anything to say, anyone? Any no. comment? Any question? No, 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 thank you. Okay. Look, thank you very much for your uh, participation and for being available here today with us. Um, I think we can now uh, pass to the, to the, to the next uh, uh, session that will be the, or the next presentation that will be an overview of uh, multiple sessions proposed by the organization by Ana Carmona.